Ebola Hits New York is your city next. Thank you for joining me. I go by the name of Diamond K. This is the Diamond K Show, and we are broadcasting on RadioOnFire.com and Shot97.com. Who's to blame for this? Ebola has hit New York City because of bad decisions. Now, it just got real. If it wasn't already real, I think people, Americans, now are understanding that this is a very, very serious situation. Now, I said it from the beginning. Anybody arriving from an affected area should be in isolation, period. None of that self-monitoring, none of that stuff. If you were in an infected area, you need to be watched. Doesn't matter whether you were a doctor. Doesn't matter if that was your homeboy over there, your homegirl. If you came from an area that was infected, you need to be in isolation. What's crazy about this whole situation to me is, is that the person who we're talking about is a doctor. Right. And not only is he a doctor, he was treating patients with Ebola. So it should not come as any surprise when he develops the symptoms. But what's so crazy about this whole situation is that this guy was just going around New York City, riding the subway, taking cabs, bowling going out to eat, all this kind of stuff. And while New York is on damage control, saying things to try to calm down the you know, hysteria of people, this 33-year-old doctor, he's been treating Ebola patients. He was rushed by ambulance with police escorts from his Harlem home to Bellevue Hospital. Now, he came back to the U.S. on October the 17th, started to develop, reported rather, that there were symptoms uh, on Thursday. And, you know, you, you got to you have to be very careful at how the government tries to spin this and how they try to change the rhetoric. They keep saying nothing to worry about. If there's nothing, well, how could you say that there's nothing to worry about when we don't even know how this infection is transmitted? They can say that they know, but I don't think they really know. Now, before we even go into that, Ebola itself, is this man-made or is this, you know, coming from somewhere else? A lot of people are, are putting out there that this is some form of population control, and it's spinning out of control. Now, was this something that they had for Africa to try to move into Africa, kill the population, or at least bring it down some? I don't know. I think time will tell. But now that it's in New York City, we are on the verge, as I said on several broadcasts ago, this could be the verge of a major outbreak. Now, some people have been treated. The uh, Eric Duncan, he died. Uh, the nurse who came to Maryland, where we broadcast from, she has reportedly cured. All right. And the young lady who went to Cleveland back from Dallas, who treated the deceased guy, she's in Atlanta. They said that she's getting better. But we only know what they're telling us, and they're only telling us a little bit of stuff. Now, the doctor who they are now trying to bill as some type of a hero, right? I understand that he went to Africa and he's been giving his life to helping people and all of that good stuff and, and the mayor and, and this one and that one is trying to build this guy up like he is some type of a hero as he lays isolated in Bellevue Hospital with Ebola, okay? Now, he may be a nice guy, but I want to make sure that it's clear that if Ebola outbreak, you know, just spreads throughout New York City, the tri-state area and to other areas, this doctor 
who his friends and his family and, and the government officials in New York are trying to say is such a good guy. This Harlem resident, this doctor, is going to be directly responsible for infecting a lot of people. So how good is he really? Now, the, the screening at the airports, they said that now they are considering heightening things up, tightening things up. They're late, but better late than never. So the way, the way it stands right now, all U.S.-bound passengers uh, from these infected areas must land in one of five U.S. airports. Now, they supposedly have enhanced screening for Ebola. And let me list these uh, airports. New York's Kennedy, Washington's Dallas, New Jersey's Newark Liberty International, Chicago's O'Hare, and, of course, Hartfield-Jackson International in Atlanta. So these are the only airports, the way it stands right now, that U.S.-bound passengers from infected areas. These are the only places that they can land. Um, now, already they're saying that all travelers from the U.S. Uh, to the U.S. rather from Ebola affected areas will be actively monitored for 21 days starting Monday. This is late. Now, hopefully they hold true to this. There uh, appears to be another nurse uh, who is getting treatment for Ebola uh, at Atlanta. Now, as I said earlier, this one um, treated the Duncan uh, patient. She is supposedly regaining her strength and uh, doctors can no longer detect the virus in her body uh, and she's going to be transferred from isolation soon. So they're trying to calm things down and, um, you know, they're saying crazy things like, oh, there's no need for alarm. Uh, although we don't know exactly, it, you know, the thing about the self-monitoring, the uh, doctor in New York was allegedly monitoring himself and taking his temperature twice a day. And as soon as his temperature, you know, got high, 100.3, he alerted people. And that's when things went into play. Uh, but. A lot of people scared, and they have a lot of reason to be scared. The way that this has been handled is is just a debacle. And, um, you know, how do you feel about it? Do you think that this was or is something that was created by the CDC, the uh, uh, Center for Disease Control, or, you know, what, what are your thoughts on this? Hit us up in the comment section. I'd love to know your thoughts on Ebola. If you're living in the tri-state area, I'd really like to know your thoughts and, and how you feel that the government is handling this outbreak, this epidemic. Are you going out? Are you taking the subway? Are you going to any of the places in Manhattan that, um, you know, these big public places? I'd definitely like to know your thoughts uh, hit me up, as always, on Instagram and Twitter at The Diamond K Show. I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.